Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Today we have an update about Colleton County, South Carolina's Sheriff, R.A. Strickland, or Andy, as he's known by his good friends. You may recall that Sheriff Andy Strickland refused to take action against Jerry Varn and his thugs at the Broxton Bridge Plantation after three of our angel drones were shot down at a 2018 pigeon shoot. Shark put an entire criminal case together for the sheriff. The evidence included the following. Drone footage of Broxton thugs shooting at it and close-up ground footage of the thugs afterwards. Recordings of the Broxton thugs radio traffic where they leave no doubt that they're trying to shoot down the drone. And that's about the color of the clouds, so it's going to blend in really good. Got a little red light on it. Roger, Alan, just let me know if any time they leave and any time they come back. Jerry, I'm moving into place now. Got to come way on down here, Joy. Keep me posted. Let me know if he lands. A video confession on a police body camera, no less, by Jerry Barn, owner of Broxton Bridge Plantation, in which he admits to orchestrating the shootings. Okay. We just, and we just wanted people shooting there too. He is shooting. He's ready for the drone. So it'll come down on private property. Well, that's not what he told us. So he lied to us. Nevertheless, Sheriff Strickland protected Broxton owner Jerry Barn and his thugs from both state and federal criminal charges. Now, Sheriff Strickland has been arrested and stands accused of second degree domestic violence. Oh my. According to the November 9, 2019 edition of the Post and Courier newspaper, Strickland punched a member of his household in the face several times around 10 p.m. Thursday, then took their cell phone, preventing her from calling 911, according to an arrest warrant affidavit filed by the State Law Enforcement Division. State police say he then tried to flee in a vehicle, which he damaged. The victim suffered injuries to her face, as well as a defensive wound to their arm, according to the affidavit. So Sheriff Andy Strickland beat up a woman. Wow. If found guilty, Strickland could be sentenced to up to three years in jail and receive significant fines. The question now is whether the sheriff can call in favors after protecting those wealthy, politically connected, morally bankrupt pigeon shooters. A guy who beats a woman and creeps who shoot small birds tossed out of boxes. Sounds like a marriage made in hell. I give Sheriff Strickland a better than even chance of walking away from this completely free and clear, and I'm even more certain he will never spend a day in prison. We'll try to keep you updated in this sordid tale. Meanwhile, a link to a video we made exposing Sheriff Strickland after the pigeon shoot is in the description section of this video, along with some links to current coverage of Strickland's domestic violence. I'm Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. You can subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. To support Shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.